Hi, and welcome back to MRTV. And here it finally is. This is the MRTV review of the Unreal Light development kit that developers can now pick up $4,200 in order to make apps for the Unreal Light AR headset. Now, before this review, I had to make a decision. Should I make this video about developers and about the development process for this device and the SDK and so on, or should I target consumers with it and tell them how does the Unreal Light look like when looking through it and if I believe that they should or should not be excited about the headset once it arrives on the market later for $500. Now, I made the decision to make this video more about the consumer side of this headset because I believe only if consumers will be excited about it, just then makes it sense for developers to pay $1,200 for this development kit. And right from the beginning of this video, I would like to tell you, yes, I believe that consumers will be extremely excited about this headset. And let's start this review with a bang. The picture quality of this $500 AR headset looks better and yes, way better than the picture quality of the $3,500 HoloLens 2. And I'm going to show that to you in Through the Lens videos and all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about VR and AR. I'm bringing you unbiased and honest reviews of all the VR and AR headsets and I'm letting you know about all the latest news. So if you are just as excited as me about all these new technologies, then subscribe to this channel now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, let's talk about the Unreal Light. Now in this video, I want to let the device speak for itself. I want you to understand how it looks like when you look through the lens. So in this video, I'm going to focus on through the lens videos. Now, if you want to know more about the device as in what kind of sensors does it have and where are the loudspeakers and all of these kind of details, please do watch my unboxing video and you can check it out here. All right, so we started off this review with a bang. I told you that the picture quality of the $500 Unreal Light is better than the picture quality of the $3,500 HoloLens 2. And that is absolutely true and I'm going to show you just how good this looks like in a moment. But I also want to make you understand that I did not say that overall the Unreal Light is better than the HoloLens 2. It was just about the picture quality and the HoloLens 2 is an amazing AR headset for for business applications and you will definitely see more about the HoloLens 2 here on the channel as well. But now let me directly show you how this looks through the lens. And here we are in another room of the MRTV headquarters as you can tell and what you can also see it's a sunshiny day and this is how the picture quality of the Unreal Light looks like. It's really really impressive and please do keep in mind it's a sunshiny day, the room is bright and yet you see the picture quality like this here. Now I took these videos with my smartphone, therefore the different kind of format, but this was simply the easiest and best way to record this footage. So how does the Unreal Light actually produce this kind of picture quality with these kind of colors? Well, the Unreal Light is using OLED displays, micro OLED displays that have a resolution of 1080p. So two of these displays are being used and they're placed on top of the lenses and they're actually projecting downwards. So the actual picture is being reflected off the lens glass into the user's eyes. So a very simple technology actually, but the result is fantastic. And again, actually better than that really complicated technology and high-end technology of the HoloLens 2 and you're going to see that in a moment. The device is tracking itself with two cameras so I can actually walk around these holograms and they stay in place. So I'm going to show you that now. I'm standing up and I walk around them and they perfectly stay in place. Actually, I could even leave the room, come back and it would still be at the same place. So, as you've seen here right now, it does work really well with the Unreal Light. Again, I must emphasize how good the picture quality and the colors look like. So now this is a really, really bright room. Check this out. It's a sunshiny day again and still you can see the picture like you see it here. Yes, 
here, this is the Unreal Light. So if I was now in a darker room or if it was already evening, these colors would even pop more. It is truly mind blowing. And again, I'm walking around here and it seems like every augmented reality demo needs a cat that walks around your room. And uh, well, it simply works fine and it stays in place perfectly. Now this is a little demo where you can see the video quality actually. So the picture gets bigger here and now you can tell that video also looks really, really great. There's going to be a whole demo about videos later in this video. So let's also talk about the field of view. The field of view is around 52 degrees and actually as you can tell now in these through the lens videos, that is pretty nice. It would not be enough for a virtual reality headset, but here, since you still see the real world through the, the glasses and also like uh, in your peripheral vision, that is all right. And anyways, your field of view will be restricted by the glasses itself, by the frames of these glasses, right? So therefore the restriction of these 52 degrees, it does not really affect you so negatively. Of course, if you go closer to these holograms, the FOV restriction will get more obvious and those holograms will be cut off. But if you look at them from a certain distance like I do now, then you won't have a problem. The 52 degrees FOV of the Unreal Light actually exactly matches the FOV of the HoloLens 2. So now let's also compare this and let's have a look through the HoloLens 2. So here it is, the HoloLens 2. And this does not use an OLED screen, it uses something completely different. It uses lasers and waveguides and well, it is way more complicated. Unfortunately, I must tell you that the OLED display of the Unreal Light looks way better. As you can tell here, we have this kind of rainbow effect. And this is absolutely not wanted in this picture here, in this video that I'm showing you of this um, jumping elephant. There's absolutely no rainbow in that actual footage. So if you have a picture that is bright and that is white, you will see that rainbow effect and that is something that is really not nice. Dear Alex, if you're watching this and if you believe I got a faulty unit, please do get in touch with me. I'm following you on Twitter. And now let's get back to the Unreal Light. And as you can tell here in the direct comparison, the picture quality is just so much better. The clarity, but also the colors. And what you're seeing now here, this is the demo reel, the video watching demo reel. And it is just so good. I can absolutely imagine to watch a full movie like this. And there is no screen door effect whatsoever. This looks way better than on any VR headset that I have used so far. This looks way better than on the Quest. This looks way better than on the Index. And yeah, again, I could see myself watch a whole movie on this device. For the sound quality as well, it's nice. Comparable to the Quest, I would say the speakers are directly above your ears. So that works fine as well. Now what truly impresses me here is the intensity of that picture, especially the bright colors. If it's on full brightness, you can hardly see the real world behind that picture. And of course, for watching a movie, that is perfect. So how do I see myself using this? Well, definitely for watching movies, like on a long train ride or in an airplane, I would rather wear this one than the Oculus Quest, for example, because I can still see my environment. If the food arrives in the airplane, I could still take that tray and that would be totally different if I was using the Quest, for example. Also, of course, it makes a big difference wearing this and wearing something that looks a bit like sunglasses rather than wearing a VR headset like, for example, the Quest. So once this arrives for consumers later this year, it's going to cost $500. It's going to come without the compute unit. So you would simply plug this into your Android device and your Android device will need a Snapdragon 855 to make this happen. At CES 2020, actually, I tried it. I tried it with an Android phone and I'm going to leave a link now to show you how it works. I was really impressed 
by that operating system because I could use any kind of Android app and these would float in front of me. And I could set up like three screens, for example, a main screen where I would watch YouTube and then on the right, I could have my Twitter feed and then on the left, I could check out Facebook. So that is a real world application and I believe I would myself use it since you have just so much more screen estate. And then how would you actually control all this? Well, with your smartphone's touch screen, your smartphone actually becomes a laser pointer. And then if you want to click, you would click onto the touch screen. And for this unit, for the developer unit, you will get an Android phone without a screen, the compute unit, and it also comes with some kind of touchpad. But for that, please do watch my unboxing video. What I didn't even mention right now, of course, you can also watch 3D movies. And actually part of, of these videos that you saw here right now, they were in 3D. And that is simply mind blowing. And of course, so much better than watching a movie in the train or in the plane on your phone. All right, as you could tell, there are lots of things to be excited about when talking about the Unreal Light, and I really like it, and I can't wait for this to come out for consumers and for the operating system to be ready so you can play your Android apps and you can put on these virtual screens and probably use that in public even. I could absolutely see myself wearing this in public. So for developers, I do believe it does make sense to pick up the Unreal Light development kit so you can get an early start with developing for the Unreal Light and a first mover advantage when it comes to your app. So for these $1,200, you do get the Unreal Light glasses, of course, and you get this compute unit. Actually, this is an Android smartphone without the screen. It comes with the Snapdragon 845. Actually, later when this comes to market, consumers will need a smartphone with a Snapdragon 855. But because everything is so optimized, here it works with the Snapdragon 845. So yes, absolutely thumbs up. I would say go and get this here if you are a developer. And later, I believe, once this comes out for consumers, I will take another look and I hope that the operating system for Android will be amazing and that you can actually do play all of your Android apps. But if this is gonna be the case, I believe this will be a big hit and it does now in this form already get the MRTV thumbs up. All right, and that's it for this review of the Unreal Light Developer Kit. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MOTV yet, then do so now. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think about the Unreal Light? And does this excite you? Are you looking forward when this comes to market? And would you pay $500 for it? Please do tell me in the comment section. And that's it for this video and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.